Hello and welcome to another tutorial for Excel users. In this tutorial we're going to be looking at everyone's favourite subject which is percentages. And in this first example what I want to do here is calculate what each of these film income totals represents as a percentage of the grand total. So for example in my first row here 2001 I've got £19.50 as my income and I want to know what that represents as a percentage of the grand total in cell D11, 144.90, £144.90. So to do that, simply click into the cell where I want the result to appear. And as you can see here, I've created a percentage of total column. So click into cell E3, press equals on the keyboard to begin the calculation, as I'm sure you're all familiar with by now. First of all, click on the income for the movie, so it's the value in D3, the smaller value. Then on the keyboard, you want to press the divide symbol, which is a forward slash key, and then click on the grand total. So the calculation is D3 divided by D11, in other words, £19.50 divided by 14490. There's a final thing that I would normally do here, which I won't do just yet, I'll come back to that. So let's just accept the calculation by clicking on the tick to the left of the formula bar and you'll see what we get. We get a decimal value 0 0.134576 which it's kind of useful but it's not a percentage so to convert that to a percentage value you simply come across to the number section on the home tab and you'll see the formatting buttons there and the second one along is percent style so click on that and the format is applied and we see now that 2001 represents 13 percent of total sales at least for movies in that list anyway 19 pounds 50 isn't exactly 13 percent of 144.90 but you can display a higher level of accuracy by increasing the number of decimal places so for example if i now come back to the number section in the home tab you'll see over on the right of that section we have these increase and decrease decimal buttons if I increase that by 1, you'll see our percentage value goes to 13.5. Click it again, we get 13.46. Again, we get 0.458 and so on. So you can increase the accuracy displayed by using these buttons here to increase or decrease the number of decimal places. Always keep in mind that the accurate value is always contained in the cell what we're talking about here is simply the display of the accuracy so the underlying value will always be that decimal value so if i go back to the format button choose general that's the actual value that's contained in the cell 0 0.134576 any calculation based on this cell will use that value all we're doing here is clicking the percentage button to make it a more user-friendly display Okay, I'm going to delete that result now and we're going to modify it because as I said before I did leave off something quite important previously. So let's recreate the calculation then. So equals on the keyboard, click on my first value in cell D3, divide on the keyboard the forward slash key and finally click on the total value. And the thing I didn't do last time was simply make D11 an absolute reference and in this case I'm just going to press the F4 key and by setting D11 as an absolute reference, as I'm sure you know from the previous tutorials, means that as I copy the formula down, the second part of that formula will remain locked on my grand total value. So again, accept that formula, click on the tick, and I'll just copy that down by clicking and dragging. Again, mouse pointer bottom right of the cell, get the black cross, drag down. And there we see the percentages for each film, so we can now identify in percentage terms which ones are doing well and which ones are doing poorly. So we've seen there how to simply calculate a percentage of a total, apply the formatting and modify the formatting should you need to do that. So let's look at another example. If I click onto the next tab in my workbook here, you'll see we have something that's fairly typical. We have a number of commonly purchased items, a car, a TV and tin of beans, so things I hope you're all familiar with. And you can see the original price and the percentage discount that the retailer is going to apply to encourage you to buy their product. And we need to work out two things. First of all, we need to work out what the actual saving amount is. So what does 12% represent as a total of the original price? 
and secondly we're going to work out the new price after the discount has been applied so first of all let's work out the saving then so click into cell d4 in my table as you can see the first saving cell press equals on the keyboard and this time click on the original value and now we're going to press multiply on the keyboard and then click on the percentage discount so effectively what we're doing here is multiplying the 9500 value by a fraction which is 0.12 or 12 percent so if I click on the tick to accept that we will see that the saving value is 1140 and finally I'm going to work out the new price now obviously what I could do here is simply deduct the 1140 off the 9500 value that's the easy way I'm going to actually incorporate the percentage calculation into the formula to give you an alternative way of calculating the new price just in case you don't have the saving value represented separately so here we're going to click on equals again we start with the original price because we're deducting the discount minus on the keyboard and then this time between parentheses or brackets we're going to create that saving calculation so again click on the original price multiply on the keyboard click on the discount close the bracket press the enter key and we see there the new price 8360 so that is the same basically as 9500 deducting 1140 but we've done it in a self-contained way if you like so we've taken the original value and then we've deducted the percentage saving by working that out in the calculation between parentheses there I'll do those calculations one more time so first of all let's go to the saving calculation that's the easier of the two so again equals on the keyboard click on the original price and multiply by the discount I'll click on the tick again to accept that calculation and there we get the saving which is 87 pounds 50 in this case and so we're going to calculate the new price with the discount applied so click into cell e5 equals on the keyboard again click on the original value first press subtract on the keyboard and then between parentheses or brackets as I prefer to call them we're going to create that saving calculation so click on b5 contains the original value multiply on the keyboard click on the discount value let's close those brackets press the enter key and there we get the new price with the discount applied and to complete the table I'm just going to select cells d5 and e5 just copy those formulas down and also I'll just select cells d4 through to e6 and go to the number section click the currency formatting button and you'll notice there this sometimes happens is that my first two values there or the values in row 4 have uh, got hash marks instead of numbers and all I need to do here is just make sure both columns are selected by clicking the letter D drag across to E and then I can extend the column width just click away and now we can see the full value so there's a few examples of how to create percentage calculations and apply formatting I hope you found that useful and you can apply some of the things you've learned there to the spreadsheets that you're working on. But thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time.